Nagas People Front revoked suspension of seven rebels MLAs who defied party directive during the 2019 Lok Sabha election. The seven legislators were suspended from the NPFB party for allegedly voting in favour of NDPP candidates. Former NPSA Commissioner and Secretary W. Honji Konyak is appointed as Chairman of Nagaland Public Service Commission, a post that was lying vacant since retirement of its Angami in November 2021. Honji Konyak will hold the post for a period of six years or till 62 years of age, whichever is earlier. Nagaland Power Department to mandatorily install smart prepared meter for all categories of consumer in a time-bound and phased manner with immediate effect. Areas of consumer where postpad meters are still operational, not to be brought under ambit of communitization of electricity till further orders. Konyak Union of Dimapur on Saturday celebrates Aoling Festival at Konyak Community Centre in Purana Bazar. Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change YM Yolo Konyak graced the occasion as the Gaze of Honour. Criticizing Government India's decision of partial withdrawal Manipur unit of Naga People's Front and Congress demand complete repealment of Armed Forces Special Power Act from the Northeast. Both the parties raised question why BJP lead NDA government reluctant in doing so when it claims that law and order have improved in the region over the past five years. Hello and welcome to Naglin TV. This is your anchor, Ravina Lama, and you're watching English Prime Time. Now, news in details. Government of Naglin appointed NPAC Commissioner and Secretary Retired W. Honji Konyak as the Chairman of Naglin Public Service Commission. It is to be mentioned that W. Honji Konyak will hold the post for a period of six years or till 62 years of age. Notably, different student federation and apex body have urged to fill the vacant post of NPAC Chairman. The Naga People's Front has revoked the suspension of seven rebels MLAs who had defied party directive at the 2019 Lok Sabha election. Notably, the seven MLAs, namely E.E. E. Pang Tiang Ishak Konyak, King Jong Chang, B.S. Nyunglang Toyang Chang, Tong Wang Konyak, and C.L. John, had voted in favor of the NDPP candidate, inviting the ear of the NPF leadership. It may be mentioned that at the time, the NPF had tied up with the Congress to support K.L. Chishi, who eventually lost to NDPP's Tokiho Yaptomi by a close margin. The analysts were subsequently suspended from active membership of the party and disqualification proceedings were initiated against them in the Assembly. Another untoward truck robbery incident has shocked Dimapur on Saturday. Regrettably, the Ashok Leyland truck with registration number NL07AA0361 was stolen. The driver of the lost truck during his interview with Naglin TV stated that an unidentified person hired the truck on the pretext of transporting goods from Kohima. The driver described how he lost consciousness after a meal at Pephema. Shockingly, the driver found himself in the jungle blindfolded and with painful bruises on his face. Luckily, a Dimapur best fellow drivers found him and brought him back to Dimapur. It may be mentioned that the case of truck robbery are on the rise, while in some cases, the truck drivers are also murdered during the robbery. Therefore, the Dimapur Pickup Union has requested the Nagaland government to consider the obstacle faced by the drivers and to help them on the other hand. General Secretary of the Mapur Pickup Union has implored that anyone with any knowledge of the aforementioned low struck could contact the given number that is 977-4194-715.
ডেল গেট আছে না এত জায়গাতে হাট করে কিনে যাইছে বলবে তাই কইছে না এত কহিমাতে মাল আনিব কইমা পরা আপনি ডিমাপুর থেকে মাল নামাবো আচ্ছা তো এতে বল কি মানু থাকছে নাগা মানু না প্লেন প্লেন মানু থাকি কি মান জন থাকি এক জন থাকি তো আর এতে বল লই যায় না আপনি ইটু ইনসিডেন্ট হওয়া তো ইটু আপনার ঘটনা হওয়া তো ইটুলা কিংগা কিংগা হইছে তো অলপ জানাই দিব কত রুখাইছে কি হইছে ইটু ইটু আমি অলপ জানাই ইতো মিটিয়া উঠিয়া বার আমি বে খুশি পাইছে আমার কারণ এই টাইবর হুতাই এনেকা লুই যাব মোরাই দিব গাড়ি চোর ঘুরিব এনেকা হুতাই থাকে আজি কোবাল ফাল আজ মানু পাচ্ছি গানা আহে লোসে আর টাইবর গান বেশি মানু মোরাই গানা আছে এই এনেকা টক টাইম দে পাবলিক গান আর গভর্নমেন্ট গান Nagaland has taken a sturdy step to make smart prepared electricity meter mandatory for all. Notably, the government of Nagaland has issued a notification on Friday informing that the power department will mandatorily install smart prepayment meter for all categories of consumer in a time-bound and phased manner with immediate effect. The department further informed that those areas or consumers where postpaid meters are still operational will not be brought under the ambit of communitization of electricity till further orders. Moreover, the state government order is in compliance with a Union Ministry of Power directive to mandatorily install smart prepaid electricity meters for all categories of consumers. The Konyak Union of Dimapur on Saturday celebrated Auling Festival at Konyak Community Center in Purana Bazar in Dimapur with Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change YM Yolo as the guest of honor. Furthermore, the guest of honor Yolo while addressing the gathering mentioned that the Auling was celebrated in different places and different time until the Konyak Student Union fixed in 1960 that a festival will be celebrated from April 1st to April 6. He also mentioned that the cultural song and dance performance during the festival is not only about the victory but even composed with a meaning of failures which basically included both failures and victories. Notably today's celebration was also joined by the Eastern Tribal Union from Dimapur and a cultural dance was also displayed after the program. It is to be mentioned that the Konyak people are the largest of 17 official recognized tribe in Nagaland and are the most well known due to their past tradition of head hunting. It may also be mentioned that the Aulian celebrates the arrival of spring and pray for the good coming past. ওয়াকিং মে আছে মিডিয়া আর সাদি খান আমি আজি বেশি গুছির পর কনক আউলিং ফেস্টিভেল আহি কিনা আছে আমি আমার নিজ কথা বড়া আমার মানুষের আউলিং কি আছে এই অল্প শেয়ার করবলে মন আপনি খান যে পয়লা এই জানাই দিয়ে আছে তো কেন কনক কনক আউলিং মনু หางเฮเดนิกวยซาชิงบัวงอรักจิงเซาบะผู้บายจงมุนิเมงสีฟังอ่ะคนยักเอาลิงมอนอยู่จิสิงฮาบูงอฮาบูเฮียงบุยพิน
Gaiti and further today at Kisama Heritage Village with advisor for prison, printing and stationery H. Haying as a special guest. Notably, the celebration was organized by Kohima Union. Furthermore, Haying, while speaking on the occasion, said that cultures and festivals are part of our identity as Nagas and each tribe should preserve and uphold their festivals. He further stated that celebrating Aoling today, you are recognized as Kanyak and say that one should be proud of this culture and tradition, our forefathers told us. It is to be mentioned that the highlights of the celebration witnessed traditional songs and cultural dance by all age groups and beating of the lock drum. The Tikir tribe on Saturday celebrated on the recognition of the tribe at Kyosom town, Shamator, as Kyoshong Yumchungu graced the celebration as chief guest, while G. Kaito Aie graced the culture program. In the program, Toponke Tikir President TTC gave an insight on the history of Tikir. The chief minister of Nagaland Nifurio, who was expected to attend the celebration but could not, passed his congratulatory message to S. Kyoshi Yumkum, congratulating the Tikir tribe on its face. The CM gave a sum of rupees, five lakh to spend in the event and provided a new Scorpio to the TTC official for use during council activities. TTC official can kida kohima ayo. TTC official can kida kohima ayo. Kudu dem di hena vrokri diwo. Arna amakan je mon sok khuli ke na murum hoa gadi ta kina ka kushe de. official can Naga Student Federation has outrightly rejected Government of India decision to reduce this soup area under Armed Forces Special Power Act 1958 by calling the act a ploy Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958. The student body hit out at Government of India by saying that this tape of the Government of India would drop more salt into the wound of the Nagas people who are still reeling under the shock of the Oting incident, wherein 14 innocent Naga souls were Mercilessly, NSF in a press statement say that although such decision will benefit areas falling under 15 police station in the state of Nagaland, but the partial withdrawal will only the inhuman aid to be in operation in almost all parts of the Naga homeland. Further, NSF also questioned that what way the yardstick used to leave the egg from certain areas of the northeast region as police stations within the Naga's homeland have almost perfect law and order record. Furthermore, Federation also condemned egg of armed forces high handedness at Chasa village of Tirap district, Arunachal Pradesh, wherein two young Naga youths, Nokpua Wangpan and Rangwang Wangshu, while they were returning from the rivers after fishing, were critically injured when 12 para special forces fired upon without any warning whatsoever. Such ache of the Indian armed forces trampling upon the dignity, existence, freedom and happiness of the Naga people without any remorse. Under the protection of ASFA cannot be accepted by the Federation in particular and the Naga people in general. The Federation demanded justice to be delivered to these innocent victims by awarding befitting punishment to these trigger-happy armed forces personnel. Justice should be delivered without at the earliest. The Indian Army 12 Para Special Forces accidentally showed two innocent civilians in Chasa village, Tirab district of Arunachal Pradesh on Friday evening. The two unfortunate citizens are identified as Nokpu Wangpan and Rangwang Wangshu. 
The forces opened fire at Dao, who were returning from the river after fishing that evening. According to sources, both are in critical condition. Meanwhile, major jams of 12 para special forces clarify and admitted their blunder of shooting the two civilians without warning. The victims were initially taken to Konsa Hospital, but later at as their condition severed, they were transferred to Dibrugar and admitted there for treatment. ये एक चीज हो गया सेकंड थिंग गलती तो हमने मान लिया पर इस चीज को डैमेज को हम कंपेंसेट करने के लिए पैसा से फैमिली को पैसे कंपेंसेट Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju on Saturday termed the center move to reduce disturbed area under the Armed Forces Special Power Act in the states of Nagaland, Assam and Manipur. Revolutionary Rijiju, while addressing a press conference, said that notice has become the mainstream of the country. He further aided saying that the withdrawal of ASPA means peace has returned to the region and that it is a reflection of the improvised, improved security situation, the whole of notice. Furthermore, the minister said that after Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister, the manner in which importance has been given to North East to take it forward and manner in which look is has been turned into act is and action began. The notice has entered into a transformation mode. Meanwhile, he also stated that people were earlier afraid to visit the North East, but now everybody can go there and spend time. AFSPA is removed when the security situation improves. So when AFSPA provision is removed from major areas, that means the security situation is improved tremendously in those areas. Now confined to few areas where AFSPA is still there, this also will go as the situation improves. The removal of AFSPA from the large area is a reflection of the improved security situation in the whole of Northeast. So from right from 2015 up till now, so many areas have been free from AFSPA. That shows that this security situation is improved. The Dimapur Yacham Buhu Pangtai Dimapur Yacham Citizen Union celebrated the Palm Monu Festival 2022 at Irali Built Dimapur on 2nd April 2022. It is to be mentioned that Minister for Health and Family Welfare Government of Nagaland as Pongi Palm hosted the festival at his residence at Aligio. Speaking to Anal TV, the president of the Dimapur Yacham Buhu Pangtai said that the Monu Festival is a festival to celebrate, celebrate by asking for blessings from the Almighty and to ask for forgiveness for all the mistakes one has done and one's ancestor have done and also to forgive one another and release all grudges and hatred. He therefore urged all Nagas to join in the celebration by asking for blessings and forgiveness and also to forgive each other. A free prosthetic hand cam for persons with disabilities commemorating 75 years of India independence was held on Saturday at SD Jain High Secondary School, Dimapur. Notably, the camp is, in, is an initiative by SD Jain Charitable Clinic under the ages of Sri Digambar Jain Samaj, Dimapur, in collaboration with National Carrier Service Centre for Differently Abled. Government of India, Ministry of Labour and Power. Empowerment Guwahati and Rotary Club of Calcutta Presidency, Kolkata. It may also be mentioned that the game was sponsored by Hukum Chand, Prabha Chand, Anil Kumar, Sarita Devi, Tongya and all Tongya family in Dimapur. Notably, during the program, a total of 57 beneficiaries registered their names. Well, 
ਅਜੀ ਐਲ ਐਨ 4 ਫੋਸਟੈਟਿਕ ਹੈਂਡ ਕੈਂਪ ਅਜੀ 2nd ਅਪ੍ਰੈਲ ਤੇ ਡਿਮਾਪੁਰ ਤੇ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਕਰਿਆ ਸੇ ਲਾਸਟ 4 ਮੰਥਸ ਪੂਰਾ ਮੋਈ ਖਾਨ ਇਤੂ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਐਡਵਰਟਾਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਆਪਣੀ ਖਾਨ ਲਗਾ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਪੂਰਾ ਸਭ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਇਤੂ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਪਠਾ ਦੂ ਮੋਈ ਖਾਨ 57 ਬੈਨੀਫਿਸ਼ਰੀਸ ਤੋ ਅਜੀ ਰਜਿਸਟਰਡ ਕਰੀ ਸੇ ਔਰ 13 ਮਾਨੁ ਔਰ ਵੀ ਰਜਿਸਟਰਡ ਹੋਈ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਸੇ ਹੋਲੀ ਵੀ ਇਤੂ ਖਾਨ ਤੋ ਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਲਿਸਟ ਆ ਸੇ ਕਿਲੇ ਤਾਈ ਖਾਨ ਟਾਈਮਲੀ ਪੂਰਾ ਰਜਿਸਟਰਡ ਕਰਾ ਨਾਈ ਤੋ ਅਜੀ ਮੋਈ ਖਾਨ 57 ਮਾਨੁ ਖਾਨ ਕੇ ਹੱਥ ਲਗਾਈ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਦਿਵੋ ਔਰ ਇਤੂ ਹੱਥ ਤੋ ਮੋਈ ਖਾਨ ਥਰੂ ਰੋਟਰੀ ਕਲੱਬ ਆਫ ਕਲਕੱਤਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਸੀਡੈਂਸੀ ਪੂਰਾ ਆਈ ਆ ਸੇ ਇਤੂ ਖਾਨ ਪੂਰਾ ਫਿਟਮੈਂਟ ਕਰੀਵੋ ਔਰ ਮੋਈ ਖਾਨ ਇਤੂ ਖਾਨ ਕੇ ਫੈਸਿਲਿਟ ਕਰੀ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਇਤੂ ਖਾਨ ਤੋ ਅਜੀ ਸਭ ਕੇ ਹੱਥ ਲਗਾਈ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਦਿਵੋ ਲਿਆ ਸੇ ਔਰ ਤਿੰਨਤਾ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟ ਕੇ ਮੋਈ ਖਾਨ ਨਿਜੋਰ ਖਰਚਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਤਾਈ ਖਾਨ ਕੇ ਕਲਕੱਤਾ ਪਟਾਈ ਸੇ ਟੂ ਫਰਮ ਜੋਨੋਬਟੋ ਐਂਡ ਇਕਤਾ ਫਰਮ ਵੋਖਾ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਸਟੰਪ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਹਿਸ ਹੈਂਡ ਵਾਸ ਲਿਟਲ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਪੁੱਟ ਸਮ ਐਕਸਟੈਂਡਰ ਇਨ ਇਟ ਤੋ ਦੀ The Nagaland in Service Doctor Association underlined the shortage of doctor in the state and reaffirmed its decision of resorting to mass schedule leave from April 18. The association in a press release pointed out that Nagaland would require a minimum of 540 more doctors to fulfill the workforce requirement for the newly created district and the upcoming medical colleges. Notably a minimum of 80 doctors would be required for district hospital and 30 more for the chief medical officer establishment for the five new district nida further added that at least 248 doctors would be required for the two upcoming medical colleges it may be mentioned that the one year deadline of the written assurance from the state chief secretary on superannuation superannuation of h in on April 17. Meanwhile, it reminded that after the 3 days mass schedule leave, all its member would assemble at Kohima on April 21 for the next course of action. The Ministry of Home Affairs stated that the center has been implementing a scheme to compensate security related expenditure for the state which have been critically affected by insurgency and Nagaland receive an amount of rupees 30.35 crore for the financial year 2021 and 2022 the scheme has been implemented in all northeastern state excluding Mizoram and Sikkim under the security related expenditure scheme a total of rupees 185.25 crore was released to the six northeastern state for the year 2021 to 2022 as per the ministry report nagaland received rupees 67.61 crore in 2015 and 2016 61.48 crore in 2016 and 2017 13.16 crore in 2017 and 2018 42.34 crore in 2018 and 2019 12.82 crore in 2019 and 2020 crore in 2019 and 2020 and in rupees 41.82 crore in the year 2020 and 2021 with only a few left for the doctor to our inter district football trophy makokchung district football association is all geared up to host the tournament the tournament is scheduled to be held from april 18 to 29 april mdfa president May Sanger Lamtu stated that despite the limited resources they are trying their best to go ahead with a major renovation work at the venue that is Mokchung Imkong Marine Sports Complex he also acknowledged that various governmental department in the district are helping the association in every possible ways furthermore MDFA co-convener Imli Kumzuk stated that all the participating team from the 16th district will be reaching Mokchung on April 17 while the opening ceremony will be held on the 18th of April followed by the start of match from April 19 the winner of the tournament will be a cash prize of rupees 3 lakh rupees and the runners up will get 2 lakh rupees beside there will be a various other prizes including individual prizes The opposition Congress and Naga People's Front and ally of the BJP in Manipur have demanded that the Armed Forces Special Power Act be completely scrapped from the northeast. On Thursday the on the center decided to reduce the numbers of areas that fall under the ambit of the ASFA in Nagaland, Assam and Manipur with effect from Friday. The NPR State General Secretary Honri Kui 
Kashung said that the party was not happy with a partial rollback of the aid. Echoing a si similar view, Congress spokesperson Dev Brata Kumantem said partial rollback was a welcome beginning but say that the party is demanding the removal of the egg from the entire Manipur. He asked why the center had limited the withdrawal of the egg to specify areas when the BJP government has been claiming that laws and others have improved in the whole state in the last five years. Five hardcore militants belonging to the various factions of the National Socialist Council of Nagaland surrendered before a team of 6th Assam Rifle and Natural Pradesh Police in Tirab District on Friday. Out of the five rebels, two belong to the NSC and IM, two from NSC and U, and one from NSC and KYA. The militant deposited five pistols and some ammunition. The Assam Rifle stated that, in view of the various successful operations carried out by the 6th Assam Rifle and Tira Police, with the support of local population, there has been the sharp downfall of insurgent activities in the entire Tira region. As per the surrender cadre, the atrocities by underground outfit towards the local population motivated them to lay down arms and join mainstream to show the support against the inhuman activities of underground outfits. President Ramnath Kovin was accorded a ceremonial guard of honor on Friday at Aksh Gabat as the began as he began his three-day state visit to Turkmenistan. During his visit, Matt Turkmenistan President Sardar Bardi Muhammadov and discussed way to boost bilateral ties with a resource-rich Central Asian country. Notably, this was the first ever visit of the President of India to Turkmenistan. President Kovin appreciated the warm welcome of the Turkmenistan and talked about boosting the relationship. Union's Minister Piyush Goyal on Saturday termed India and Australia as two brothers. Speaking at the India-Australia Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement virtual signing ceremony on 2nd April, Goal addressed both the, Goyal addressed both the countries as natural partners, connected by shared values of democracy, rules of laws, and transparency. He further stated that the relationship between the countries rests on the pillars of trust and reliability. At the virtual signing ceremony of the agreement, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that the India-Australia Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement is a watershed moment for bilateral ties. The interim free trade deals aim to eliminate 85% tariff on Australian goods exported to India. He added that the newly signed trade deals will contribute to the increasing supply chain resilience and stability of the Indo-Pacific region. Prime Minister India and his Nepal counterpart Sher Bahadur Dweba met and held delegation level talks at Hyderabad House in New Delhi on Saturday. Nepali Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Dweba accompanied by a high level delegation and his post Dr. Arzu Dweba arrived in New Delhi on Friday for his three day visit to the country. Notably, the meeting between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Nepal Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Dweba is aimed towards working together to take India Nepal relation to newer heights. It may be mentioned that wide-ranging talks on the multi-factored partnership are on the agenda. On the other hand, National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar are also expected to call on the Vachira Nepali Congress leader. It may be mentioned that this is Duba's first bilateral visit since assuming office in July 2021. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has appreciated India's position on Ukraine and said that Russia will bypass sanctions to supply any goods to India. Notably, the Russian Foreign Minister during his today visit 
Today, visit to India from 31st March to 1st April met Prime Minister Narendra Modi and External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar. Lavrov stated that he appreciated India best on understanding of the India's independence stain on Russia Ukraine war. Meanwhile, Jay Shankar in the meeting reiterated that differences and disputes should be resolved through dialogues and diplomacy and also respect for international law, UN charter, sovereignty and territorial integrity of state. On the other hand, when Lavrov met Modi to brief him about the situation in Ukraine, including the ongoing peace negotiation, Modi reiterated his call for an early cessation of violence and conveyed India readiness to contribute in any way to the peace efforts. Carlos Alcaraz ended the 10-match tournament winning streak of defending champion Hubert Hurkas to advance to the final at the Miami Open presented by Itao on Friday evening with his 7x6 victory. The Spaniard has reached the biggest final of his young career, going one better than his semi-final run at Indian Wells two weeks ago. By reaching the final, Alcaraz moved up to third place in the ATP race to turn in, with an opportunity to move up to second with the title. The world number 16 improved to 6x6 six six against the top 10, having won the opening seat in all six of his victories and lost the opener in all six defeats. Alcaraz is projected to move up to a career high of number 12 in the ATP ranking with his final run and will reach number 11 with a title. It's a just reward for his red hot 22 by 2 run dating back to the Intesa San Polo next gen ATP finals, including straight set win over third seed Stefanos Sissipas and 21 seed Marine Klilik in Miami. Chennai Super King bowler Duant Bravo surpassed legendary pacer Lashit Malinga's record and became the highest wicket taker in the history of India Premier League. Bravo broke legendary pacer Lashit Malinga record, who spanned his entire IPL career with Mumbai Indians and held the records for the highest number of wickets until Thursday. Malinga, a former player of Mumbai Indians, congratulated Duane Bravo for breaking his all-time premier records of 170 wickets in 122 IPL appearances. Bravo broke the record when he picked the wicket of LSG batter Deepak Huda. Single actor Miley Cyrus tastes positive for COVID-19 following her world tour. Cyrus shared her diagnosis on her Twitter handle, writing, Traveling around the world, playing for 100,000 people a night and meeting hundreds of fans a day. The changes of getting COVID are pretty high. I have COVID now, but it was definitely worth it. The star say that though she is contracted with COVID-19 positive, she has no regret as her international tour was definitely worth it. She further stated that she will no longer be able to perform at the sold out for annual Jane's Fund event. American actor Will Smith on Friday resigned from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Thereafter, he slapped comedian Chris Rock on stage at the Oscar. Smith stated that his actions were shocking, painful and inexcusable and that he will fully accept any and all consequences for his conduct. Meanwhile, the Academy accepted his resignation and is said to continue to move forward with disciplinary proceeding against him. This is all for now. For more updates, keep watching Naglen TV.
might 